Hey friends, welcome back. In today's video, I want to share with you my recent two day trip to Kyushu, Japan. Kyushu is the third largest island in Japan. Going to Kyushu has always been on my bucket list. After five years of living in Japan, I finally got the chance to visit Kyushu for the first time. This time, I chose to go to Fukuoka Prefecture. I started my trip by arriving at Fukuoka Airport. Fukuoka is a beautiful city located on the northern shore of Kyushu Island, known for its rich culture, delicious food, and friendly locals. My first stop in the morning was Kushida Shrine, which is a historic Shinto shrine located in the heart of Fukuoka city. It is believed to have been founded in the early 8th century, and it has played an important role in the cultural and religious life of the region ever since. Kushida Shrine is also known for its annual summer festival, which features traditional floats, parades, and performances, and attracts thousands of visitors from around the world. This shrine is a must visit attraction for anyone interested in Japanese culture, history, and religion. Then I visited the ruins of Fukuoka Castle, which are located in the middle of the city in Maizuru Park. During the Edo period, Fukuoka Castle used to be the largest castle in Kyushu, but it was almost completely torn down after the Meiji Restoration as an unwanted symbol of the feudal past. Nowadays, only ruined walls and a few turrets remain. There was a Sakura festival when I visited here. It was held from March 24th to April the 2nd. From the top view of the castle ruins, you can have a nice city building view with fully covered cherry blossoms. Right next to the castle, there's a park called Wohori Park, which has a beautiful lake and many walking trails. And it's a great place to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of Fukuoka. After enjoying the beautiful cherry blossoms, I felt like it was time for some ramen. Hakata ramen is wildly known as the best tonkotsu ramen in Japan, and it is Fukuoka's most famous food. Handmade noodles, rich and oily broth, savory slabs of chashu pork, and ingredients arranged with symbol refinement define this delicious dish. In the afternoon, I went to another popular tourist spot, Dazaifu Tenmangu Shrine. This shrine is located in the Dazaifu city, and the entire length of the approach is lined with shops that cater to the shrine's visitors. The shrine is rather large, stretching about 250 meters from one end to the other. After passing through the Torii gate at the entrance, visitors will come across a pond. A path leads across two arched bridges and islands which represent the past, present, and future. After crossing the bridges, you will approach a walled courtyard with the shrine's main hall. It was under reconstruction when I visited here. The entire process is going to take three years. Then I headed to Canal City Hakata, a massive shopping and entertainment complex that is home to many stores, restaurants, and even a movie theater.
it is extremely lovely at night. There is an amazing 8-minute Disney fountain show that celebrates the 100th anniversary of Disney. Another special experience in Fukuoka is to try Yatai food. Yatai are small, mobile food stores that line the streets of Fukuoka at night, and they are known for serving up some of the best street food in Japan. a train and went to Kitakyushu. Kitakyushu is the northernmost city of Kyushu and has been an important hub for both land and marine traffic since olden times. It is the gateway between Honshu and Kyushu, as well as an important port for international trade. Moji Retro or Mojiko Port is a charming seaside area known for its nostalgic atmosphere and beautiful scenery. This building is called Dalian Friendship Memorial. There is a restaurant on the ground floor, and on the second floor, there is a rest space and a corner devoted to the introduction of Dalian. The tallest building in Mojiko is an apartment block with 31 floors, the top floor of which is the Mojiko Retro Observation Room. At 103 meters, there are great views in all directions. The shopping area in the Mojiko Retro District is located by the sea, which is called Kaikyo Plaza. The area has a very romantic ambience. Now it is lunch time. I couldn't resist trying some local cuisine. I heard that yakikari is the famous food here, so I decided to try it out. Yakikari is baked curry which is curry with rice topped with cheese and egg heated in the oven. The melted cheese and soft boiled egg combined with the spicy curry to enhance its flavor even more. Blue Wing Mozi Bridge is the only pedestrian drawbridge in Japan, and it's one of the most popular photo spots in Mojiko Retro. The 
length of the bridge is 108 meters and it is open six times a day. My last stop of the trip was Kokura City, which is only 12 minutes away from Mojiko Station by train. Of all the lovely spots to see in Kitakyushu, the most revered one of all is Kokura Castle. It is the only castle in Fukuoka Prefecture. Today, Kokura Castle is famous as an ideal place to view cherry blossoms in spring. Overall, my two-day trip to Fukuoka Prefecture was a wonderful experience. From the delicious food to the stunning parks and historical sites, there's something for everyone in Fukuoka. So I highly recommend visiting this amazing city, especially during cherry blossom season. You can literally see sakura wherever you go. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next travel video. Bye!